Welcome back to Visual 3D Basics, and in this unit, we are going to be talking about calculations. As in the previous unit, we created a biomechanical model that allows us to relate one segment to another as we perform calculations that we will explain throughout this unit. Now, just to make sure it was clear exactly what we did, essentially, we collected data previously from a subject moving throughout our motion capture volume in some way, whether we used markers, whether we used markerless technology or inertial sensors, we have collected data. And from this collected data, we have obtained a biomechanical model. Now, this model is generated in different ways depending on how you collected the data, but no matter what, you have a model in Visual 3D and you have motion files that are associated with that model. That model will include individual segments. And these segments are going to be related to each other in some way based on that biomechanical model that allows us to calculate things like joint angles and joint moments if that data has force plate data associated with it. Now, in the attached data for this unit, you will find that there is force plate data, so we are going to perform some kinetic calculations. Of course, we don't need to create that biomechanical model every time, and in fact, at the end of the previous unit, we saved our biomechanical models. And in this unit, we're going to start exactly from there, as we're going to open data and open the biomechanical model we previously generated. So in Visual 3D, if we just go up here to open, and we're going to pick our cluster gate one and cluster gate two files, just click open, exactly as we did previously. You see they load in here, and now if we just come up here to model, create add static calibration file, hybrid model from C3D file, you see, we can open that static calibration file, just as we did in the previous unit, and we associate it with the motion trials, exactly as we've already done. The difference is, even though now we have no model loaded in here, if we just come up here to model again, and select apply model template in the data that was included in this unit, we can pick cluster model to load the file exactly as we had left it at the end of the previous unit. So closing out this first chapter, we have gotten back to the same place we were at at the end of the previous unit. And we are going to use this biomechanical model to perform a variety of calculations throughout the following chapters. Thank <laughs> you.